I'm Yemi Malin. I'm Miku Gatari. And today we're at Kawagoi! It is called Little Edo Town. Yeah. It is just like um, one hour away from Tokyo, so it is really easy to come by when yeah. you want to have a short getaway. That's right? right. And yes. it will take you back to the Edo period, period. Yeah. Yeah. with all the amazing architecture and street foods. It is going to be so much fun, right? Ooh. So stay with us till the end. Let's go. Before exploring Kawagoi, Let's change to the beautiful summer yukata at Kimono Rental Nanako. Luckily, if you go to Kawagoe, you can spot lots of kimono and yukata shops everywhere you go, and you can rental them for the whole day. With this, you can take beautiful photos everywhere you go. And voila! This is our look for today. It is a retro modern yukata that has a very vivid and bright pattern to it. It is super super beautiful and I'm loving the hairstyle. So if you're wondering what's the difference between yukata and kimono is that yukata is worn on summertime, right? Yeah, it's thinner than yes. kimono. And it is more um, easy to move. Kimono is like a bit hard to move and really thick fabric. Yukata is lighter than kimono. Hi, we're now at Kumana Shrine, one of the famous shrine in Kawagoe. Yeah. And where is that so? It's famous because couples go here to yes. pray for their luck and love. Yes, that's mm. true. When we're here, we see lots of couples, not only Japanese people, but also foreigners. So anyone is welcome here. So let's check it out. Ah. <laughs> for help. Oh. These are the fortune telling paper. So if you insert 100 yen to each box, you can really take any one from the box. They say that this, this can tell your fortune, either your love life or your work life, or even based on your blood type. So we're now riding the rickshaw and we're gonna stroll around Kawagoe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi. is always my go-to way to enjoy my destination spot. Not only the Rikso guy will bring us a little tour along this Kawagoe city, but he will also introduce us to lots of famous places here and also the long history of Kawagoe. So, if you want to travel and want to get to know more about that place, try to consider trying out the rickshaw surface. I'm sure you won't regret it. It is so much fun. <laughs> We're now at the main street and attraction in Kawagoe. If you can see, you can sense the feel of Edo period. Yeah. And it is so homey. Yeah, and lots of traditional food. Yeah. Wow. And by the way, if you come here, they are also famous for their emo, which is sweet potato. Mm -hmm. So you will see lots of sweet potatoes everywhere you go. This is the Nori Maki Dango. So inside the Nori, there is Dango. Ta da! Wow. Oishiso! Oishiso! <laughs> I think I know you from somewhere. Are you the one from Animal Crossing? Yes, you are. Kawagoe is also famous for their matcha soba yeah. and we're now at a small restaurant which serves soba as its main dish little matcha drink mm -hmm. it looks really fancy so refreshing refreshing we also got this asuki dessert So behind us, there's this famous Toki no Kane or Bell Tower. Yes. And previously, the king of this area said that he is so on time. That is why they built a bell tower for him. So 
So this is the famous Candy Alley. Mm -hmm. Here you can buy lots of um, souvenirs and also local products. So it suits try. its name. Local yeah. Candy Street. And so many children love to come here because obviously their parents will buy snacks for them. Ah. Yeah. I heard that before in during Indo period that there there were like um, around 100 shops around here but now it's only around like 20 yeah. oh really that's yeah, so not sad. even half of it okay. 20 shops but it's still okay, okay. it still survives So this is the sweet potato ice cream. On top, it also have the sweet potatoes. It tastes so good. It's so creamy, right? Mm, but it melts so fast. See, it, better get it, hurry. It melts really, really fast. Mm. I think because the weather is really hot today, so yeah, it tastes perfect though. I love it. So we're now at Hikawa Shrine. They are famous on summer, right? Yeah. Because of summer the festival, bells. the bells, yeah. yeah, the chime. So by the way, this um, shrine is famous for their fortune telling with the fish shaped fortune teller just now that yeah. we saw earlier. And also lots of Emmy. Emmy. People write their wishes here and just hang it on the wooden. And it becomes thing. so pretty like this. Yeah, it's so oh. pretty. Wow! Our last and most beautiful spot for today is Starbucks Kawagoe. The exterior of Kawagoe unique Starbucks matches the traditional building that's surrounding it, making it a perfect place for you to spend your relaxing time. And I will assure you, you will also feel at serene and at peace here. So we're now at the end of our video. It was so so much fun exploring Kawagoe and seeing yes, Little Edo for ourselves, right? Yeah, and we ate a lot of delicious food. So maybe next time, if you come to Tokyo or Japan next time, maybe try to consider coming to Kawagoe and experience this traditional side of Japan yourself. Yeah. So thank you guys so much and we'll see you again next time. Bye! Bye. Tell me why. I never wanna hear you say. Sing it. I want <laughs>